Now, Wales would not vote in favour of devolving income tax if a referendum was held now. That's the view of the First Minister in an Assembly debate on devolving further powers. Carwin Jones said he thought people here would view a referendum as a way of being paid more tax, being made to pay more tax. Well, our political editor Nick Savini is here. This is the first chance that uh, the Assembly has had to discuss further powers since uh, the Prime Minister's announcement uh, last week. Yeah, they've had a few days, Jamie, to digest the news that uh, they're going to get more powers on on some taxes, borrowing powers, and if the Welsh Government wants it, a referendum uh, on potentially having a share of the control of income tax in the future. Now, lots of debate at the Senate today. Inevitably, a lot of it was wrapped up on this issue of a referendum on income tax because it's such a big tax, of course. I think what was particularly interesting was that we found out the real extent of the opposition uh, by the First Minister to that referendum potentially on income tax because as things stand now on a number of different levels he's against it we knew that he is against it unless what he says the UK government gives Wales more money because he believes the country is underfunded he also believes he can't see what the benefit is for the country it's a very blunt instrument in uh, income tax He's always said that uh, there's no point devolving taxes in order to raise them, but if you reduce them, then you do lose a potential big revenue share of the tax take. And finally, he doesn't believe, as you alluded to earlier, a referendum is, w is winnable. And I think it gives us a revealing insight into what he believes is the attitude of the Welsh public to the Welsh Government. People will begin on the basis of believing in a referendum, and let's be, I think, honest with ourselves in this regard, that any referendum on the devolution of income tax uh, would be to them a way of them paying more tax. Now, whether that's true or not is a different issue, of course, as we understand, but that's what their default position will be. Now, it, it might be possible at some point to make an argument that overcomes that, but I don't believe that position is yet reached. So how much uh, pressure will he come under from opposition parties? Well, I think quite a lot, if, anything, if today is anything to go by. The Conservatives talked about championing the cause for a referendum. Earlier today, the Liberal Democrats likened Cadwyn Jones to a teenager persuading his parents to give him a car and then finally, when he gets it, insisting that they continue to drive him around. And Plaid Cymru inevitably, I suppose, are pushing for that referendum on income tax as well. Nick Savini, thank you very much.